What's going on everyone? My name is Emily and I'm here to talk to you today about my beautiful, amazing, resilient mother, Marlene Torres. For the last eight years, she has been living with ALS. ALS is also known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Basically, ALS is a debilitating and degenerative neurological disease that attacks the neurons that are able to normally communicate with your brain and the rest of your body. So essentially when you're diagnosed with ALS, your neurons begin to die off and you eventually lose the ability to be able to move, to do daily activities like eat, use the bathroom, or not use the bathroom, but clean yourself after the bathroom. Um, brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, going for walks, tying your shoes, being able to put your hair in a ponytail or change the channel. You essentially become paralyzed from the neck down. And it truly is a life-altering disease. My mother has been with this, with this the disease, say that five times fast, for the last eight years. And the average life expectancy with ALS is two to five years. There is no cure as of yet, and there are barely any medications that you are able to take with this, this, with this disease to be able to um, stop the progression or to kind of stop some of the symptoms. There is nothing like that. There are holistic and natural routes that you can go that could slow down the progression, but all of those are based client by client, case by case, patient by patient. And so my family and I have really been on this really incredible journey and horrible journey over the last eight years and have really seen our mom decline. And from my mom's perspective, she has lost her, her functioning in her daily life down to where she is bed bound. She is fully bed bound. Um, she requires care 24 seven to do every daily task. And after eight years of her being at home with private care, it has now come to a point where she is in a facility, in a nursing facility to be able to take care of her 24 seven. Uh, my family is tiny but mighty and we have all taken turns and really tried to work as much as we can together to make my mom as comfortable as possible but it has come to a point where she needed to go to a nursing home and going to this nursing home has been extremely difficult in the transition of it because when it comes to ALS patients that are usually in nursing homes have some form of ability. They may be bed bound, but they can feed themselves. Um, they may be in a nursing facility, but they're in wheelchairs or they can kind of walk, they can still talk and communicate. It's very difficult for my mom to communicate as you can imagine. Um, she can't really talk. She can't move her hands. If there's an emergency, she can't get up and run. So there's really a lot of, there's a lot of different things and variables that happen with this disease and being in a public nursing home it's very difficult for the staff to be able to to truly truly give my mom the quality of life that she deserves being able to turn the tv to a different channel when she needs to or being able to use the bathroom at any given time um, being on a schedule is okay for her but there are times where that schedule you know such as life there are emergencies and accidents same thing with her feeding and if she gets sick or if something happens or she requires different levels of care throughout the day. And so we have decided, my family and I, to come together and create this really beautiful campaign for my mom where we are raising awareness around the disease, raising awareness around those that live with ALS and other disabilities and how they cope on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as being able to raise money for my mom so a lot has happened with my family and with my parents no longer being together my mother now is is mainly on her own and so we really need to 
raise money from the community and get the support from the community in order to hire a starting out part-time nurse aide, a nursing aide that can help her with her feedings, her bathrooms, her daily needs when I cannot be at the nursing home or when my family cannot be at the nursing home like my sisters. And right now the burden is on myself and by burden I mean needing to make sure that the nursing staff is doing what they're supposed to be doing at the nursing home and all of that. I cannot always be at the nursing home and so it it is a lot, it is a lot. And so we are looking to have someone part-time to start and eventually full-time to be able to really help with my mom on a part-time basis, a couple of hours, a couple of times a week, and eventually grow to a full-time position. So we are kindly and bravely and vulnerably asking our community, asking the world, <laughs> the larger community to please help us and support us. This money is going straight to my mom's needs. It is something that you can help donate to a family that's in need with a disease that is debilitating like ALS and be able to give my mother the quality of care and be able to give her the attention she needs when there's a true emergency. We've already had a couple situations at the nursing home where it has been very difficult for the nursing staff to help her on a timely basis because it's just very over, over understaffed and overwhelmed there right now, as is almost every medical care provider right now. So I'm asking from my heart to yours, please consider donating and we will be in touch with you if you are a donor and be able to give you updates on my mom and let you know how she's doing. And we really appreciate all the help that we've gotten over the years from everyone. It is has really truly made a difference and my uncle Elston has beautifully written dedicated and produced a song for my mom and all of those suffering with a dis uh, disability or a disease as well as my sister-in-law Natalia has also directed and created and edited a short documentary regarding my mom and some of her challenges that she's been through over the last eight years and has come to to create a beautiful video so as we share these different pieces of content throughout the next few weeks please donate and if you can't donate even five dollars um, please share it share it with your family share it with your friends share it with your people at work with your tribe with your community to be able to get the word out there it really means so much to us i truly 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 appreciate it it has been over the years that I've been able to develop this muscle for being able to come on here and update you guys on my mom. A lot of you have seen the progression of my mom and, and of my family. So I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to yours for continuing to support and be with us through this journey. But I love you all so much. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. The GoFundMe link is in the comments and I will be sharing it a couple times a week throughout the next few weeks. So thank you so much again and happy holidays. Sending you all love, health, and happiness in the new year.